Okay, next is story, an interesting topic that came up on video cards, actually, which is, uh, well, Samsung has announced that it's developed the first GDDR7 memory featuring 24 gigabits capacity. So that's essentially three gigabytes uh, of memory per module. Now, this is quite interesting because what it means is that, well, typically, the way things are right now, if you have a 128-bit or 256-bit memory interface, uh, on a graphics card, you're pretty much limited to just 8 or 16 gigabytes of memory. And that's a bit of a problem, bearing in mind lower-end graphics cards typically have only 8 gigs of memory, the exception being the 3060, of course. Um, now, this is interesting because now it looks as though um, going forward, uh, graphics card manufacturers will have more options. You know, a 128-bit interface or 256 can, you know, ship with 12 gigs of memory or even 24 gigs of memory. This has been a hugely contentious topic because, um, well, you know, typically I would expect a 30 series class um, product from NVIDIA to uh, match the current generation of consoles, basically. That's what I think that class of product should be doing. Compute wise, it pretty much gets there and you have extra features like DLSS and frame generation, etc. All good. But you're sort of lumbered with eight gigs of memory. That's not good. So Potentially, moving forward, there's the opportunity that we can have lower-end graphics cards that will ship with 12 gigs of memory. The thing that I've sort of seen so far is that um, uh, there's been talk of the next generation 5080, which is going to have a 20, uh, 256 bit interface, um, shipping a standard with 16 gigs of memory, but there will be like a 24 gigabyte variant, presumably using these Samsung modules. So um, I guess, first of all, the question is whether um, lower end GPUs are actually going to use GDDR7 at all, uh, or whether they'll stick with the existing GDDR6. And the extent to which we will actually see these three gigabyte modules permeate down into the lower end of the stack, where I think that kind of most needed, to be honest. Um, Oliver, do you have any thoughts on this? Yes, I think the development of non-binary uh, GDDR7 memory configurations is a pretty nice development, like Rich said, because it does open up the possibility for various configurations that are potentially tantalizing to us, including with four modules, you know, doing uh, doing 12 gigs with eight modules doing 24 gigs. Obviously, that's uh, something that does open up a lot of possibilities on low end and then also towards the mid range and higher end uh, for something like a potential 5080 card. Um, I think here it's the motivation behind producing these modules is probably not necessarily as much to open up certain headroom in the low end of the market. I think from what I can see here, the motivation is just producing a four gigabyte module with today's memory technology is just challenging based off of the, uh, the way that nanolithography is scaling with some of these parts. So getting a three gigabyte module is a good middle step there. The only thing I would note here is that based off of what they're talking about here in terms of the production timeline, stretching to 2025 here, it probably suggests maybe that those three gigabyte cards, the cards with the three gigabyte modules would be coming out towards the end of that year or towards the middle of that year, potentially, and not at the very beginning of that year. So it might be, you know, around the summertime or something, maybe by the time an RTX 5060 is rolling around that we might see these cards uh, and not necessarily at the beginning of that year. Um, but again, that kind of does line up. I mean, hopefully it does line up in the end with the release of some of those cards that use a 128 bit memory interface where i think this issue is most pressing because they are right now with the two gigabyte modules um you know you're only getting uh, an eight gigabyte card or a 16 gigabyte card depending on if you use four or eight whereas here you could probably get a, a pretty easy 12 there and actually have parity finally with the uh, GT, uh rtx uh 3060 ti way back when at least in terms of that memory capacity for something like a 4060 so it was the base 3060 that actually shipped with uh the... oh the 3060 right yeah 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 the bizarrely the 3060 ti there. had eight gigs of memory it's just oh right yeah bizarre. yeah that's a, that's a good point yeah you could finally have parity with that two generation old card for your 5060 at least <laughs> Yes, that's what vintage 2020, number one in the Steam yeah. hardware survey as of today, however. Uh, uh, John, do you have any particular thoughts on no, this? Not really. I mean, I feel like you guys kind of covered this off pretty well, and I've been talking a lot already, so. <laughs> yeah, you've got more talking to do. 
exactly the <laughs> next topic. But yeah, I mean, what could I say? I mean, I'm just hoping that we do actually start to see um, more memory move into the lower end of the market. And for various reasons, it just hasn't happened. So the kind of exception to the rule has been the 3060. And I'm still not quite sure why that happened. I think because NVIDIA realized that the only alternative for the 3060 would have been to put out a six gigabyte version of that card, which in 2020 up against, you know, consoles shipping with, you know, 16 gigs of memory would have been a really bad idea. I think they made the, made the right call there. But that sort of exception to the rule has led to things like, well, um, you know, The Last of Us Part 1 running on PC with uh, you know, high-end textures runs a lot faster on the 3060 than it does on the 4060, even though notionally the 4060 is a considerably faster product. It's just using so much memory that you know only the 3060 can cope there. Um, I really do want to see lower end cards move up to 12 gigs minimum. I don't know whether that's going to happen in the short term, um, but at least now it seems that the technology is emerging to actually be able to make this happen, um, theoretically even. 